Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Gianna, in case you didn't already know. Um, if you haven't noticed, or if you haven't watched my videos before, you wouldn't know that my videos are kind of more serious, and this is one of the more serious ones. Um, I decided to make this because, as I have mentioned before, in maybe like three or four of my videos, I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, and um, part of the reason why I suffer from it is because of previous relationships and um, abuse, and there's many different kinds of abuse, um, which there is physical and emotional and mental so I decided to talk to you about some warning signs in relationships that you should look out for when you're in a relationship because when I was dating or yeah when I was dating people in the past when I was younger um, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know and there was a lot of stuff that I didn't realize because I didn't know to look out for certain things and I wish I would have known more so that I could look out for it because I probably wouldn't be in this position so so warning number one would be that it is too good to be true because most of the time your attacker or your boyfriend or whoever it is will make you want to feel like it's too good to be true and they will do anything that they can to make you feel like they're the only person that can make you feel this way because then once you feel that way it's pretty much guaranteed that you won't leave and it just makes it a lot easier for someone to take advantage of that. Warning number two is that the person you are seeing or dating will want to commit very soon and very quickly and they will want to make sure that you're theirs and only theirs and it's just like a control thing like you're committing to this person and it's like they have control over you and so you guys are together and that's pretty much it it's like the whole control thing number three is he will want you all to himself and he'll go through anything to make sure that that's how it is um the person that you're seeing will make plans with you ahead of time to make sure that you don't make plans with anyone else. They will What was I thinking of? The person will make you feel like other people are only out to get you and they will make you feel as if other people aren't really allowed to be around you like other guys can't look at you and you can't be friends with other guys or girls or whatever your preference is number four is an overly concerned um the person that you are seeing will call you and text you and if you don't respond right away then they will ask if something's wrong and like ask if you're okay and what's going on the person that you're seeing will only act concerned for the reasons of control because they will ask who you were with who you where you went and what you were doing and they will try to make it 
to where it seems like they're doing it because they care about you and they're worried about you when um, it's not really like that. It's more of a control thing and they can just manipulate you easier. Number five is he will be loving and caring sometimes. He will do sweet things for you and make you feel loved, but sometimes he will make you feel guilty about anything. Um, my number one issue in like a previous relationship that I can think of is that the person I was with made me feel bad for certain things and one of the things was um, the clothes I would wear. Um, I wasn't allowed to go out wearing shorts or a tank top or anything too revealing. I would get my shirt pulled up and my shirt, my shorts pulled down. Um, saying that it's too revealing and it doesn't look good and the person that you were saying, like the person I was saying would say that it's because they don't want anyone else to look at me that way and when you're, when you're in that moment you just don't really think about it and you're like, oh okay, like this person doesn't want other people to view me in a certain way that, I don't know how to explain that in like this certain way because it's inappropriate okay so my video has gotten interrupted like twice and um my friends are over but i want to finish this right now because i put so much effort into it the first time not really but whatever so the sixth sixth thing is that this or yeah this person the person that you're seeing will victimize themselves and make it seem like it is your fault like <laughs> like the situation is your fault and anytime that you are being abused it is your fault for something that you've done that's wrong thing is the whole victimization thing and they will make everything seem like it's your fault and they're the victim in the situation when it's obviously the other way around but yeah so that was six warning signs to an abusive relationship which there are obviously plenty more but I think that that was enough because honestly there's like only a few things that someone needs to do in order to realize that they're being abusive but if you've never been in that situation before it's hard to tell and so yeah I suck at talking so I apologize if you watch my videos and you're like what the fuck is she talking about but anyways I'm going to finish this and go and I love you and bye